never die when the world is calling you can you hear them screaming out your name legends never die they become a part of you every time you Season 2 the Spinosaurus Life, a we are in the mysterious marshes where there is a new Spinosaurus for us. But for another but for another series, she is, she is very well known. The Spinosaurus is one of our island called Isla Keller. An island that is not too far from this one. And we've actually measured it. The team on Isla Keller and the team here in our team measured the length or we estimated to be about around the length of the Amazon River, which she easily swam through and came to our island. Her name is Sapphire. When they saw her last in their series, she was only a young female. Now she's a fully matured adult. Still kind of young, but around 20 years old. Around the same age as Red Sail. She's been living here for around a couple. She's been living here for a couple of years, ever since season one of our series. And she was, seems that she's made it quite well here. Seems like she's doing quite well. Not too far away from Sapphire is a species that we. Species that we thought went extinct, but have actually reached flourish. Allosaurus. We've seen in the Ceratosaurus short film the recorded of Neo, which was the orange male, the, the orange and black male, and the blue baby is actually Carnegie's new daughter. This Allosaurus is a male. It's a sapphire's territory, and he's going and she's gonna try to take it for herself. Seems she's in clean my territory, but as she tries to, seems that she walks in some mud and she almost got stuck there. But Sapphire hears the cries not too far away. She makes a low growl, sort of like a crocodile. Charges to and she charges toward the allosaurus. She bites at the allosaurus neck. The allosaurus screams in pain. The female allosaurus gets up, tries to run. The allosaurus is running. She probably grabs her by the neck and throws her. Her skull has been fractured. And her brain is bleeding eternally. She seems, seems the sapphire stone is so hard it broke this boulder. Source flops around for a minute before it dies. Sapphire's territory is safe. Once again, see the sapphire is dragging the body somewhere else. Dragged the allosaurus up to another part of the territory. She seems like she's been, been kind of falling from the water. And she washes. And the she eats the allosaurus carcass peacefully. As this is the last food she's gotten in a while. She's gotten small fish here and there, and there's pretty big eels that I've seen. 
Because that's the direction that she actually ran. It was back a couple times and just going right away like a little pansy, but you know. He's a pretty big spinosaurus. The sipping has already smelt the, Alice, the Allosaurus carcass. This female Tyrannosaurus Rex. We've seen her in another series. In the name of Shadow. She hasn't eaten in a while either. Let's see what she can try and fight. Sapphire for it. And they've actually fought over this territory before and shut up as lost many times. But but she can camouflage with the leaves and the ground. So this might be an easy catch for her. So far feasts. Start club bites on the sapphire's neck. Sarah chest, opening a huge wound. She bites down Shadow Claw's neck. Before a loud roar is heard. A huge wound nails and the Rex comes out and shrugs. She pulls Sapphire by the neck. T-Rex is made by Denmark, just like Tyra, except it's a male, and well, it's another attempt at make, trying to make Tyrant, who sadly died in season 4 of the series, or Bannister Island, except he's actually kind, this T-Rex. He knows a shut up wall, he gets up, bolts away, and his mate is actually shut up wall. Sapphire got surprised, er, kind of surprised by Shadow Claw. She's actually been defeated pretty easily. As she, as Sapphire's gotten a lot stronger since we last saw her on Easter Pedro. Seems like she's gonna fight with the male T-Rex. Oh, we shall call this male T-Rex Jr. As it is sort of like a second attempt to make Tyron earn his. Stare at each other. He points down on Sapphire's neck. Starts slashing at his side. Junior Cruz gets up and throws Sapphire from the neck again. Even though Sapphire is pretty powerful, Grant, I mean, Junior is pretty powerful as well. As soon as Sapphire is getting the upper hand, she does. So she thinks. Back with Shadow Claw. Here's something. A little growl. Here calls ready to fight before. Spinosaurus. Huge Spinosaurus. Real Spinosaurus. Attack. Comes about in there. Jack Clark goes up before. It's tossed down. This is Matt. And this is actually Max. She bites down, she bites down an arm, breaks it. She puts three fingers on her skull. She growls. She growls a junior. Soon, two other spinosaurus appear. A small female that looks awfully familiar to another one. That we, to another series on this island that we've never that we it's similar to our dinosaur island but we have nothing to do with it 
is on our island, and we soon see Spiny. This hero is kind of source, so it's only familiar to the female in the other series. Which turns around to watch. So there's Spiny. Junior turns around. To see Max. Up before he gets pinned down, bitten. Okay, I have one. <laughs> he quickly gets his fingers off, his claws off the skull of Jericho and he runs. He runs to him, he's enjoying her. He her walks over to Max. She dips her head in submission, thinking that maybe he wants to breathe with her, but she loses her head. The yeah, actor does not want to breathe with her. But he is the prince of the island, and Fred sails the king. She bows again. And Max actually already has a mate. As I said before, or just a second ago, and the female is actually. Welcome to the series we talked about a second ago. The female right here is actually Max. Max's daughter, Gator Tail. Seems like going to go off. Seems that like he's got a new friend. Walk off. This team falls, and we see a huge brachiosaurus. This huge male brachiosaurus, which is pretty odd to see down here, but. <laughs> Channel Tail still are hunting it. It's going to tell it gets whipped instantly. Brachiosaurus looks down. Shatter tail for a bite of his neck. Struggles to get out of her grip. Stomps his feet, almost hitting Shatter tail. Now all I had to do is wait for, for it to bleed out. But still, it grabs onto its neck. It's rain shirt. Like he just turns around, bleeding. And all we have to do is wait till it bleeds out, which won't be too long from now. Until. Sapphire attacks it. That shadow tail and still in a black pack, but him coming in is Max. Breaking Source is now dead. And Shadow Tail asks who this is. To try out tell that this is a new friend he made. And that she doesn't mean no harm. And she's actually lived alone for all the time that she's been here. Shakes a low growl because it's a feast on the cactus. And something about Gator Tail that Max isn't told Stella or or uh, Shadow Tail is, or he's only told Sap, he's only told Sapphire. It's because that, well, of course, we like said that it's his daughter, and he hasn't told them these two either because Stella would actually get pretty mad and jealous that yet he's got a mate before her. She thinks that, of course, she's better than him, which we all know she isn't. As back to well, my focus of the series, she feasts. Looks over Sapphire. Just a feast with her. And Gator Tail. Soon. Feasts. Shadow Tail. And Max. If 
feast happily. A couple minutes after we ate, Sapphire walks over. I don't know how far away. She and Spiny. They recognize each other. She sniffs him. They sniff her. They have each other the same scent. And I've said before that Bloodback is actually Spiny's mother. But we were wrong. His real mother Sapphire. Another cute. I'm glad to see each other again after so long. As soon as that Max is out to go somewhere. And he asked them if he, they, he, they can watch a uh, Gator Tail. She makes a little bit of a green. A recoup. See the Gator Tail? She's enjoying the nice moment. Trying to reunite. As. Sapphire and Spiny reunite. But Max walks somewhere. Stella and Sapphire, I mean, it seems that like Stella and Shatter are gonna follow him. Stella's actually noticed that he's been sneaking off, and Shatter doesn't believe. He's actually hunting, but now he's just leaving for no reason. And they did notice that he has a scent of a Spinosaurus. The same scent as Skeeter Tail. Crew to soon follow Max. Max is coming up a steep hill and he roars. There's a roar back. Getting close to the female. He's just beyond this brush when he approaches. Doesn't mean that Shadowtail. Shadowtail and Stella have heard it. And they're not too far behind. They're far enough behind to where Max doesn't notice them. Max would have normally noticed them, but he, lo he loves this female so much. It seems that he hasn't noticed them. It seems that Max is experiencing love. Well, he hasn't experienced love like this since his mother have died. His mother died. And he approaches the sound. Think of a Jordan's Spinosaurus life. Greetings and secrets. <laughs>